And you're Rachel, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me make sure I didn't call you. And your sister, Brianna? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have a phone number that we could contact you at later? Um, so I don't forget. Uh, the first three is 209. I can okay. never remember the last That's four, okay. so I go find it. Again. I always have to look mine up on my phone. I gotta call myself, so I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Mm, it'll take a bit to warm up because I had to turn it off because I'm almost down on bars. <laughs> it's okay. like, uh. Okay, 209 7452. 7452. Okay, all right. All thanks. Okay. Basically, what I kind of want to discuss with you a little bit, real quick, is just um, I know that you've had, I know your sister Sarah is in the hospital and they're trying to figure out, you know, what's wrong with her. And from what I heard today, in the last couple of days, I guess her condition's improved quite a bit mm -hmm. and she's been moved, I think, to another room yeah. and she's talking, I think, is that right mm -hmm. now? And she's definitely better than she was a couple of days ago, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. And they're still trying to figure out what, um, what actually happened, happened to her, what, what was wrong with her. Um, and I know that your father passed. When was it when he passed away? Um, sometime like last April. Last April of last year. Yeah. What, was he ill for a long time? Or do you, what all do you really know about that situation as far as his death goes? I know he died at home, right? Is that yeah. right? Okay. Um, what all do you know about his death as far as what, did your mom tell you or what, what was your knowledge of it? Very sudden. Just a very sudden death? Yeah. Kind of a surprise? Yeah. He, okay. He's like, bam. So he, he didn't have like any terminal illnesses. He just, Not that sudden, I he just went from being there to he's he dies. And yeah. He was, was he 50? 50, 50 something. So, so he's pretty young still then. Yeah. Okay. So just kind of all of a sudden he's, he's, he's dead. I mean, I, I know he smoked, but. Yeah, right. But it didn't like not you. an instant no, thing. No. How did you learn about his death? Were you at home when it happened, or yeah, you was at home. Okay. Um, and was it your mother who found him mm. in 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 was in the bedroom or yeah? I can't remember from the report. Okay. What has she told you about all of that? What what has she said about it? Or she said a lot about it, or talked much about it, or I can't really remember really because it was. It's more of a sudden thing, and hmm, don't I'm trying to remember. That's okay. That was a while back. Yeah. Your mom take it pretty bad with his death, or does she hide emotion good well? Or I mean, how how would you describe her? In public, she can, but at home, it's, at, at home, it's different. At home, it's very different. At home. Okay. What does she do at home that, that kind of shows her emotion? Is crying or talking about crying. it? Crying. We talked about, about it a lot. About your dad, your father. Yeah. yeah. But in public, she's able to hold it together pretty well. Yeah. Okay. What kind of things has she said about it? So just when you guys are talking, anyway. Mostly remembering things about him. Just like, kind of reminiscing about yeah. him. Yeah. As far as a dad goes, a pretty good dad to you and everybody, or what's, what's nice. your opinion? He was nice was with it? us. Oh, yeah, you guys he'd let us go to it. Oh, you guys could do anything you wanted to do. Was what was mom and dad's relationship like? They would fight a little. Did they fight a little bit more than like any other married couple? Or not really? Okay. Were they close? I think so. You think they were close, but they did have disagreements and stuff? Once in a while. Did he work or anything? Um, he tried, but he wouldn't be able to keep it that long. He couldn't keep a job very long. And your mom's a nurse, right? Yeah. She, she, okay. Um, so were most, what were most of their arguments over? Just money. Money, <laughs> like everybody else. Money yeah. and not getting a job. Were there, did they have arguments over anything else besides the money? I mean, drugs, drinking running around, not being at home, any of that, any of that kind of stuff? Sometimes. What, what, on all those, all those topics or just? Because he did have some friends that mom thought he did things with. Like what? Like drinking? Drinking, smoking. Smoking. Okay. Just cigarettes or? I don't know. No, no. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Did she ever think he was doing anything, running around on her, cheating on her or anything like that? Did she ever indicate that? It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise you? Okay. But she never came out and told you that? No. Said that to you. 
So most of the time he described it as a pretty good relationship between the two of them, but yeah. there was obviously some issues with him not working and maybe hanging out with his friends too much and maybe the friends weren't the best friends or the best influence they or something. They creeped me out. They, you don't think they were the best I, influence on him? No. Had he been friends with them for a long time? I don't know. It seems like a lot of his friends would like shift really quick. Like oh. he wouldn't be with the same ones for like... So there's new faces all the time. Yeah. What was he meeting these people at? Uh, other than bars, I don't know. Just bars, <laughs> basically. Okay. Um... Because I know a lot of, uh, he had a band, and he would meet people via band mates. Oh, so he's saying the band, or your dad had a band? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, was he making any money with the band? Not much. Not much of anything. So mom was pretty much the financial supporter yeah. in the house. But you never saw any physical fights between the two of them? Or no, uh, at most they'd throw table furniture. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, I remember the time when the... They actually broke the table leg. I was like, oh my. Yeah. So they, they, did they try to keep their arguments away from you guys, I assume? They or? tried, yeah. They tried, okay. okay. But you can obviously hear it, I assume, at some oh, times. Yeah. But never saw anything physical. They just no. kind of holler and scream at each other. Okay. Did your dad drink a lot? Um, I don't know, because a lot of it would be outside of the house. Outside of the house when he would do it, okay. Would come home drunk or just, you just hear mom say buzz? So most of this information you're getting from mom about him drinking outside of the house or I mean this well, was just last year. Knew, yeah, you just last year, so obviously you're an adult, so you kinda of figured out yeah. I'm sure you figured out even before last year that yeah. this it, was this something that just came on recently? Has he always kinda of just not been has he always kinda of been out of a job and Pretty much. Pretty I much mean, he would get that. frustrated with whatever job he was in and, like, screw this and yeah, leave just, before they even can. Really? Okay, just not his thing. And <laughs> no. He was trying to do the band thing, I guess, and yeah. make it big like any other person that has a band. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What about your brother? I know he passed, what was it, last year? Yeah. Last, um, last September? September. Sometime early fall. So. This a little bit into when school was starting. So your dad passed in like spring of last year, mm -hmm. and then your brother died in the fall, fall. of last year. Yeah. How old was your brother? Um, let's see, that'd be two years above Sarah, so 26? 26. 26. And his, his name was Sean? Like Sean, yeah. What, um, was he living at home? Yeah. He, he, had he been living at home all the time? Yeah. So he's never moved out on his own at 26? Or? No, we were attempting to do assisted living thing, but it never panned out. What was wrong with him? Did he have some kind of a physical um, he disability? Had a, or? Um, autism. Um, he had a seizure disorder thing. Okay. So you're trying to get some kind of assisted living. Because like, yeah. that's a lot of, to have to care for a person, mm -hmm. especially when they get to an adult age and have to care for him all the time. So he couldn't work, I assume, then? He did do Springfield Workshop for a time, workshop. but he was having some, like, not behavioral problem, but just some issue with coworkers. And oh, he would just get frazzled. Very well. yeah. okay. I mean, that goes along with the autism, I think, that sometimes that didn't, I think that you kind of freaked out by certain people yeah. or certain things that people do. Okay. Easily overwhelmed. Was your mom pretty much the caregiver for him then, I assume? Yeah. All the time? Okay. Did she handle that pretty well? I mean, did she take I it hard, so. or was it a strain on her? Yeah. Did you see it as a strain on her? Or? The taking care of him? Yeah. Part? I mean, was it? He was extremely low maintenance. Well, he was low maintenance. He wasn't. He, he didn't. I mean, you get him some comic books, some puzzle books. He is a happy camper. He's happy. Okay. So it wasn't a constant having to keep him happy or do things for him. He kind oh, of no. just hang out on his own. He had this awesome trick that with a pencil. It's like I wish I could figure out how he would do that. He would <laughs> twist them in his hands. I was like. <laughs> For somebody who can't button buttons, that is awesome. It's pretty neat some of the things that people with autism can do. They can't do the simple things, but they can do all these extraordinary things sometimes. Yeah. You see that a lot. So when he passed in, like, September or so, what was the circumstances behind that? Was it a sudden thing, or do you know that much about why he passed, or did you hear the medical reasons behind it? I'm trying to remember what all was going on. It was craziness. But I remember he was throwing up. Okay. And then all of a sudden. How many days did he throw up? Not very many. It was mm, less than a week. 
So it's like just a few, two or three days, three or four yeah, days. Yeah, I thought it was like flu because it was like early September. So I was like, well, maybe he's got early flu Coming or something. Coming out flu or something, throwing up a lot. Okay, and um, like flu-like symptoms or something yeah, along those lines. Then, okay. Who was caring for him at that point with his, when he was down sick? Was it mom? We were taking turns taking pretty turns. much. Cause okay. You and mom? Yeah. Okay. But when you were off at school, mom's taking care of him? Yeah. Because mom works from home, right? Yeah. Okay. So when you're at school, she's taking, were you, whenever you were home, I assume you were living at home right, yeah. while you're going to school. Cause so she's taking care of him when you're at school and then when you come home, you kind of try to help her out some yeah. so she can do her thing. Okay. Um, and then he was sick for three or four days, throwing up and then he died. Mm -hmm. um, do you know any of the circumstances behind that? What were they telling you guys was the reasoning or did he have a seizure too or? I want to say it was a seizure. A seizure. I can't remember exactly. Okay. Because Okay. Medical things are just... Yeah, me too. They're over my head. So what, how did, obviously mom had to take that, I mean, pretty hard too. First dad and then a short time later, you know, it's your brother. Um, did she seem to, how did she seem to handle that? I can only imagine, but... She wishes there was more she could have done. Yeah. I mean, she's told me like when we talk at night, it's like, she feels like a failure as a mom. Because it's like, it's one thing to lose your dad yeah. or husband. Or right, wife. yeah. Your dad, her but, husband, yeah. But, but, she, but with a kid, it's... She took that pretty... Yeah. Take that rougher than her husband. Very than rough. Dad. Yeah, I could see that. So she was faulting herself for... She assumed it was because she should have been a better mother. Is that or she, something. So she was kind of taking a lot of the blame upon herself yeah. for, his, for him dying. Okay. I know that he had flu-like symptoms for several days before he was taken to the hospital. Did he die at the hospital or did he die at home? I want to say he died at home as well. At home, okay. Because okay. Um, I know from Lee... I remember they tried resuscitating him and it's... Didn't happen. Were you at home when, when they tried to, when he died that day? Yeah. So you were at home when dad died and at home whenever your brother died too. Okay. Well, that's a lot of, a lot of sudden deaths in a short amount of time. So, okay, um, so as far as Sarah goes, when did she come down sick? I mean, how long did she have, was she throwing up or sick? She was throwing up, because like the toilet's like right across from my room. She so hear any, I could hear it and yeah. it's like, are you okay in there? Yeah. And it's how many like, days was she throwing up? Not very many either. It was, like a couple of days? How long has she been like, in the hospital now? Uh, about a week about or a so. Week. so Within the last two weeks or so, she she was threw up for a couple of days. And would you describe it as flu-like, kind of like your brother, or was it I don't different? Because it was really odd. I mean, lack of appetite as well. Because I was trying to get her to eat, but she didn't she like, didn't, didn't want to. Okay. Who was caring for her while she was sick at home? Your mom and you. Yeah. Okay. Um, the same type of deal when you're at school. Mom's doing it all, yeah. and then when you come home, you kind of help out some. But she wouldn't eat. Or anything like that. Would she drink liquids? She would drink. Or, okay. What kind of liquids was she drinking? I was getting her water. Water. How about dad. mom? Do you know what mom was giving her? At um, home? she'd asked for Sprite once, and so mom had gone out to get Sprite, okay. but pretty much water. Just water. Okay. How about your brother? Whenever he, was he drinking pretty much water too with you, or because it sounded like their symptoms were a lot alike. It was. It did it seem strange Weird. to you. I mean, did you kind of wonder what is it something like genetic or just or did you just go, just well, I don't really know. I yeah, freaked you out, but didn't really. I almost don't want to think on it. It's like, yeah. it's hard like to... I'm on my next. Yeah, well, yeah, it's hard to think about. Yeah. I mean, when you got your brother and your sister, or your dad, brother, and then your sister. Um, okay. Um, what has mom said about your sister's condition? I mean, obviously, she's, she's feeling like she's a failure as a parent over your sister being ill, too? Or is that a wholly different deal? Lately, she's been wondering, could we gotten her to the hospital faster? So you guys actually took her to the hospital? Yeah, because we her? were able to get there in time. Because I was helping her put her in the car because okay. she would not wake up. Who decided to take her to the hospital? Your mom or you or both of you? Joint decision. Because she wouldn't wake up? She's like, pretty it, she's, we need to get something. Yeah. Cause, okay. uh, what was? Did she just graduate from Missouri State? Yeah. Back in when? Back in the spring? Um, fall. Fall. Oh, okay. Back in the fall. Um, 
stuff. So she's been living at home too while she's been going to school? Yeah. Okay. Is she working anywhere right now? Or? No, she's been looking she's for been something. She's been looking for some, Looking very hard or? No. Not really? What, she's what's her degree in? Uh, French. French? <laughs> French. It'd be kind of hard. To, well, I guess she could be a teacher, I guess. French yeah. teacher. But other than that, French in Springfield probably be a little tough. But I know. I don't know, I don't know I what I'm high doing. school, we had mostly Spanish. So. Yeah. Yeah. I could see Spanish, but. Maybe she's going to teach French or something, but she's pretty much been goofing off, you say, then? Not really. Oh, yeah, because every time I'd go back in the room, she'd be on the computer, YouTube, and it's like, come on. Not, at, not least go, at least go clean the litter box. Yeah, something, yeah. <laughs> just kind of just being there, not doing anything. Huh? Does she have school bills? I mean, she had to have yeah, school and stuff coming. Like, is she already paying on that, or is that coming up? Or, it's coming up. It's coming up. She had to, but, so she had to be thinking, I need to get a job to pay. What like was she saying? I was going to try to help her get something at like high V or something. Yeah. Because like at least you'll have something to pay. Was she not, and not real interested in it? No, she just wants to like just sit around. It's like, just hang out. Oh, what was mom's attitude about that? Frustrated, but she's, she's a bit more patient on that than I am. Yeah. Though. It's like. Okay. So she was frustrated with her, but were they but arguing the about that or anything? Or no. Not a whole lot? At least around you, anyway, you didn't see arguments or no. mom getting on her about getting a job. Was mom trying to get her to get a job, though? Yeah. Okay. I mean, she'd bring it up in conversations like, you know, your, yeah. your bill's coming up. Yeah. And she just, whatever. Okay. Uh, just wanted to hang out. That's about it. Uh, okay. All righty. Um, and from what we understood from the hospital so far, we really haven't been able to determine how your sister got so sick mm -hmm. from the hospital standpoint. Okay. All righty. Um, but you did think it was kind of weird how everybody had these same flu-like symptoms and yeah. dad dies, brother dies, sister almost died. I mean, came real close to... Yeah. I mean, that's... When we were called about this last week, we were told that she's probably going to die. And obviously, thank goodness, she's she's made a miraculous, yeah, like miraculous a comeback. Thing. Yeah. Have you been up there to visit her at the yeah, hospital? Yeah, I have. Like, I'll come in the morning and then at the evening. Has your mom so been coming better. up there much? Yeah. Mom right. Mom goes as well. You guys go together or separate from each other? Um, a little bit of both. Okay. Like, in the morning, she'll try to get off during her lunch break. Your, your so mom? she can Yeah, so she can go up there and see how she's doing. And then okay. we'll both go in the evening and take okay. Brianna as well, because okay. Brianna's still sick. She shares a room with her, and she's just taking this so hard. I imagine. I imagine like, so. Oh. I imagine so. But she's definitely rebounded, so I know, she's like, looking a lot better. Yeah, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> okay. Um, but you found it kind of weird how they've all kind of had the same yeah. deals, and you're kind of wondering. I know you don't want to think about it, but you're thinking, is this something family? Or mom hasn't made any has said anything to you about what she thought it was or because she's telling me it was a bit different with sarah though because like i mean with sean there was the seizures dad was more of like a heart thing was how uh -huh. she described it as but sarah's just out of the blue just sick and thrown up and then she's just basically unconscious that yeah. is the way you put it okay i mean they mentioned in the hospital something about brain bleeds and so yeah. it's like it makes me wonder so many things brain wise yeah. but i could be seizures. I don't. I'm. I'm no medical uh, expert, so I, I. have no idea. I mean, the seizure thing does go in the family, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, but nothing heated between your mom and your sister about getting a job. Yeah. Nothing like that. Okay. It's more of gentle nudging. <clears throat> okay. All righty. Well, just kind of get you up to speed. About about oh several days ago. We started receiving phone calls from some people that were kind of concerned about um, your sister Sarah and her condition and how she just all of a sudden became very ill, you know, and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And um, we don't know exactly who these people were, but um, and then they were concerned, obviously, about the fact that your brother died and your, your dad died, and, and this was all sudden stuff, and, and some of the symptoms were kind of the same. And um, we obviously were brought in. Um, and started kind of doing our own investigation into it and talking with the doctors as far as Sarah's concerned. I know there was an autopsy done on your brother, mm -hmm. but not on your dad. Um, <clears throat> so we started putting some stuff together and started looking into things. And um, we started finding some things that just didn't look right, to be honest with you. I mean, just not adding up as far as, um, well, I mean, you're a smart girl, you know, young 26 year old, all of a sudden, 
for like symptoms. He's dead, you know. Yeah. 24, Sarah's 24? 24, 24. 24, young, um, throwing up, flu like symptoms. Dad's only 50 something years old. Started talking with the doctors and so on and so forth. And um, <clears throat> the doctors hadn't been able to confirm anything. Um, as of yet, they're still working on it. But they basically told us that um, what they were leaning towards and what they were thinking was the case is that your sister had been poisoned. Um, and we're like, oh, okay, well, that kind of starts changing things now. But is that, is that she poisoned herself? Is this a suicide attempt or anything like that? Or what is it? But you never seen the sister say anything about a suicide attempt or wanting to harm herself or... She has, she like, had. when she was in middle school. In middle school. Not always, recently. No. Nothing like that. And how about your brother um, saying anything like that, especially around the time of his death or anything or leading up to that? Not any towards... Mm. Not anything you took as a serious... No, because a lot of times they would just say things to say things, like yeah. attention-seeking yeah. kind of And this was things. back when they were younger, though? Yeah. This wasn't any time recent. Mm. You never got the... You never got the impression that your sister or your dad or your brother had done anything to harm themselves did you ever get that impression or did you get that feeling or dad yeah i mean i've i could tell he was getting very depressed okay. but i don't know okay. okay it's possible but i don't know yeah okay um well, anyway, we got to looking into this, this situation further and obviously doing our investigation over the last four or five days um, and looking into some stuff. And today, um, there's more ongoing testing, obviously, and there's going to be some more ongoing testing. But we felt at this point <clears throat> that it was time um, to have a talk with your mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, brought your mom in today <clears throat> and interviewed her at length uh, for quite a long time. And um, basically, what has happened is your mom has admitted to killing your dad and your brother and trying to kill your sister with poison. I know it's hard to process and a hard thing to even think about, but um, she basically spelled out to us how she did this and the reasons for doing it. Um, we had got some information early on that they're like, um, as far as your sister goes, that this this lady has been poisoned. It's, it's not a medical thing. It's not a genetic thing. It's a it's a it's a leaning more towards the lines of a foul play thing. So, I uh, brought your mom in today and talked to her. And um, after talking to her for a while, <clears throat> she um, she finally told us what she had been doing. Um, she had been giving your father uh, small doses of anti of antifreeze in his drinks. Um, over a several period, over several day period, um, same thing with your brother, and uh, same thing with your sister Sarah. Um, I know it's very difficult, and obviously we don't think that you or your sister had any knowledge, obviously, of that. Um, your mom is is um, obviously she's torn up over the whole thing, and, and mentally she's. She's beat herself up over it, I'm sure, every day. And like you even said, she she's an emotional wreck at home. Um, her reasonings for doing this to your father basically was that uh, just had enough of him. He was, as she described it, just not carrying his way, not being a good father, not being a good husband. Um, you know, there was some infidelity stuff going on in there. There was some drug use going on in there. And she finally just got to the point where she couldn't deal with him any longer. And then, unfortunately, um, after that, it, that that kind of same type scenario, kind of is the reason she describes for for giving. She started giving your brother um, antifreeze in Coke and soda over a couple of day period. Um, and then, unfortunately, um, your sister, same situation, giving her antifreeze over a two or three day period, um, small bits of it at a time in her in her in her drinks in her coke. Um, basically, she says because wouldn't get a job, wasn't doing anything, um, felt like she was going down the same path as a brother and dad, and was just going to be 
this complete burden to her and the family and um that's basically the reason that's that's what she's giving us is her reason for doing this um, i know that's a lot to take in right now rachel that's a ton to take in and i don't by any means think you know anything about it or were involved mom tells us that you and you didn't have any idea at all um, i assume that's the case right did you even have any suspicions that mom was doing anything I mean, I know in the back of your mind, you said you didn't like to think about it, but these things, you know, yours were kind of just all of a sudden deaths. Just take some time. And... Thank God. It's a lot to process. I don't even know how you, how you actually process that, to be honest with you, Rachel. I guess the only silver lining in this is it looks like Sarah's going to probably pull through and I don't know what kind of physical limitations she's going to have, if any. Hopefully she won't have any, but it certainly looks like she's going to pull through. So I guess that's somewhat of a silver lining. Get you some water or anything? You sure? Deep down in your in your gut, in your, in your deep feeling, did did you think mom was? Did you think there was anything going on there with mom at all? I mean, did that even did that thought even ever even cross your mind? She never gave any kind of indication that she was just at her wit's end with the three of them at any one time that you can remember. I, mean, I know she was frustrated, but right? God. Yeah. yeah, but nothing obviously to alarm you to think she would do anything to them. <laughs> I mean, she's told us, you know, pretty much she, she ordered the antifreeze online and had it delivered. And there's some of it still in the garage, I see, from what she's telling us. Do you have any other family here in Springfield? Um, I have an uncle. An uncle. Was your dad's brother or? No, my mom's. My mom's brother. brother. He lives here in Springfield. Mm. Okay. Though he's on vacation right now. <laughs> oh, where's he at? Pensacola, dang it. Okay. Um, is there anybody else we can call? Somebody from the church or something? Church. Um, I mean, you, you you can decide if you want. If you, what we're going to need to do is obviously we're going to need to talk to your little sister. Okay. I obviously I doubt that your little sister can tell us anything i don't i mean you don't you didn't even have any indication from what i understand that your mm -hmm. mom was doing anything and everything just seemed like it was just a i guess just a bad case of just bad luck one after the other and just you know family members dying and and things like that so nothing really raised your suspicion about mom or about their deaths i take it so i, I would assume that probably I doubt an 11 year old's gonna, you know, think there's anything suspicious. But um, somebody from the Child Advocacy Center will talk to her briefly. And then after they talk to her a little bit, um, if it's okay with you, we'll just release her to you. Okay. I mean, you're, you're grown up, she needs to be with you. She doesn't need to be anywhere else. She needs to be with you. Okay. Um, but, um, and mom said this too, but um, obviously, I have to ask you these questions. You didn't have any involvement in any of this stuff. Don't take don't take it the wrong way, but I have to ask those questions, okay? <laughs> Mom never confided in you that she was doing this. Never. And from what I kind of feeling I get from you, that thought didn't even enter your mind that mom was doing anything. I know you said she was frustrated, but 
I kind of take it as you didn't think she was frustrated to the point where she would do something like this, right? <laughs> Nothing along these lines. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let me go out here real quick and make a phone call or two. Is there anybody from the church that I can call to come down? Or I wish I had phone numbers on me. But... <laughs> That's okay. You have any in your phone? Any numbers in your phone? I don't know, but I can look. <laughs> Take some time to take. Is uh, you said your pastor? Yeah. Is he is he somewhere where he'd be available or? Uh, wait, he's on home? vacation too. Oh, is he on vacation too? Dang okay. It. Why is it they're all on vacation? If I knew Pastor Schreiber, I could get him because he's not too far from here. Okay. Let me see if I can oh. find you some kind of blanket thing too. Okay. It's okay. Off the call here. I'll be right back, okay? Okay.
that you wanted to come up here? No. No? Is there a, is there a name? Is there a, you want me to try to find a phone number for him? Or what would you like to do? Uh, um, if you could find him, his name's Edermar Schreiber. Edermar. Edermar, I know. How am I he's Brazilian. But. Brazilian. And he's through which church? What's the name Redeemer of Redeemer Lutheran. Redeemer Lutheran. Okay. Let me um, see if I can find something for you. You know where he lives? The address where he lives? Oh, or? That's okay if you know. That's, that's I don't. Okay. <laughs> which is sad because I drove there today. To his house? Yeah. I was swimming with his kids. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, how's he spell it last night? Um, S-C-H-R-E-I-B-R. Something fancy in German. Okay. All right, let me see if I can find something. But he's one of the pastors? Yeah. They're at the church? Okay. And what's the name of the Springfield Lutheran? Redeemer Lutheran. Redeemer Lutheran. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Ha, 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 ha. 
Ha <laughs> <laughs>